And it says that the old priesthood basically had disqualified themselves. And um, in this vision that Ezekiel is having, it says there's going to be a new priesthood. A new priesthood coming. Specifically, he talks about the sons of Zadok. Zadok, which interesting, again, a Bible nerd thing. Zadok is, is essentially the Hebrew word for righteousness. New priesthood, and they're going to be sons of righteousness. They're going to be the ones that minister to the world for me. Do you, get, do, you, do you see how the Old Testament is asking a question that the New Testament will answer? goes on in chapters 45 and 46. Israel is to be restored, and in particular, the government is to maintain justice in the city. So no crooked deals, no crooked scales. And it's interesting that as it goes on in, this, in these two chapters, there's no mention of a high priest. That was kind of like the big deal in the temple. What there is a mention of, though, is what Ezekiel in this vision just calls a prince. There's a prince, a princely figure, a prince who's going to show up. And what's interesting is in places like um, 45.22, it says that the prince will provide the sacrifice for the people. The prince will provide the sacrifice for the people. In verse 46.11, the prince will provide a free will offering to the Lord. So this is all Old Testament terminology, which if you've done a Bible reading plan, you kind of turn your brain off in Leviticus as it's going over all this stuff. But notice that it's a shadow. It's a placeholder. Ezekiel's having a vision. A prince is going to show up, a king, a ruler, and he is going to bring the sacrifice for the people. 